In this video, we're going to look at a different type of problem where we start to integrate some topics from chapter 15 and 16 into solubility. And so in this case, we're going to look at how we can introduce the concept of pH into calculating a KSP, for example. And you're going to notice that this comes up quite frequently. You're going to notice that uh, some a number of things from chapter 16 can uh, influence the solubility of a compound. So for example here we just get a solution that has a pH, so we get a pH, which we know is basically a measurement and what we can do with pH is we can go back and we can convert that to a concentration of OH- minus or H3O+, plus, which in this case would be relevant. But also you can imagine that anytime we want to control the pH where we add an acid or a base or we create a buffer, that might also influence the solubility of something that has OH- minus in it, for example. And so for this problem, we're going to look to see how we can use pH to calculate KSP. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do what we normally do, which is we're going to write our reaction. So we're going to say that calcium hydroxide solid is in equilibrium with calcium 2 plus aqueous plus 2 OH minus aqueous. And we can write our KSP expression, which is that KSP is going to equal the concentration of calcium 2 plus times the concentration of uh, hydroxide squared. And so now we have to use our pH to compute, to get information about our hydroxide ion concentration. And so if we do that, if we subtract 12.35 from 14, and then we take the uh, 10 to the negative uh, answer of that, uh, so when you do that subtraction, I think you get 1.65, um, you get a concentration of OH minus equal to 2.24 times 10 to the minus 2 molar. And again, this is uh, convert pH to pOH, and then convert pH to a concentration of OH minus. So if you don't know how to do that, go back and review chapter 16 and chapter 15. So now that we have our concentration of OH minus, we're doing pretty good, but we have to get also our concentration of calcium 2 plus in order to um, be able to evaluate the expression for KSP. And so we have to do a little bit of stoichiometry here. So we know that 2.24 times 10 to the minus 2 is really the same thing as moles of OH minus for every liter. And so in this case, we can use stoichiometry knowing that there are two moles of OH minus for every one mole of calcium 2 plus. And so we can compute our calcium 2 plus concentration to be 1.12 times 10 to the negative 2 molar calcium 2 plus. And so now we can plug into our KSP expression. So we can say that KSP is equal to 1.12 times 10 to the minus 2 molar times uh, 2.24 times 10 to the minus 2 molar squared. And so we can get a value of KSP in this case for of 5.62 times 10 to the minus 6th. So that is how you can calculate the KSP when you're given a pH of the solution instead of a... Um, just a concentration as we saw in the last problem.